Hey bros, my folks, what going down? Stony back here today on my server, Age of Wyverns. It is a 32 slot Nitrado. If anybody wants to join, search for Age of Wyverns on Xbox One in the unofficial PC sessions list. Anyway, dudes, I'm here at my desert villa and I've got something special for you guys that's been out for a while. It's nothing new, but a lot of people don't really know about it. I actually just found out myself about it, so um, I wanted to share with you guys since you know I just learned about it but anyway dude so this is a video on how to spawn in plant X now I'm gonna show you guys how to spawn in the plant X seed which is nothing new and then I'm gonna show you guys the plant X plant itself which counts as a turret that you do not need to grow in a crop plot and you do not need to fertilize so I'm going to show you guys around my desert villa real quick. Uh, this has taken me three days to build. I've been working on it non-stop. Uh, I've got these walls up here. Now this is in the desert on Ragnarok. I'm not on Scorched Earth. This is the new desert uh, villa over here in Ragnarok. So the major cities like right over there are ways. You can see the bridge from here and then uh, I'm over here at my villa here. So you can see my pretty little garden. Oh, I hear someone talking. Okay, so he's asking for tribe invite, but I actually don't invite anybody to the tribe here unless they donate five dollars to the server, so Oh hey, it's Mad Dog. Okay, so um, anyway, so what I want to show you guys is, let me walk over here so they can talk. Okay, I'm out of their range. Alright, now I can concentrate. So these here are the plants that are what's special in this video that I want to show you guys. So, like I said, you don't have to put these in a crop plot. You can place them anywhere, and you can still change their targeting, change their distance stuff like that so I'm kind of confused I don't know I'm not sure if their voices are picking up I don't think their voices are picking up I don't know so uh, anyway let me walk away from them because they're kind of distracting a little bit sorry Let's see if I can run away let me actually let me just go somewhere where they don't know where I'm at and then I can show you guys there so what I plan to do is put that plant X along this bridge kind of well, not like on every single one, but maybe every few uh, pillars right here on the side to kind of act as more of a defense. Although, I don't really see a lot of dinos coming up this way, so it would really only be for players. Which, it's a PvE, so players are kind of out of the question anyway, but I don't know, just to kind of look cool, I guess. And I'll probably put some Manticore flags here. But, uh, so anyway, now that we are got our peace and quiet, so I'm going to show you guys... Firstly, the command for the seed, which is nothing special. Like I said, the seed is just the seed. Uh, if you want to plant it in a crop, feel free to. Um, that's cool and all. So it's going to be cheat. Oh, let me pull it up. Cheat space GFI space defense plant space one space zero space zero. So if you're not familiar with the numbers at the end of commands, first number here where we have one is the amount you want to spawn in so if you want more than one put uh, you know 10 or 100 if you want 100 seeds I'm just gonna put one to show you that it works and then uh, don't worry about the other numbers the second number is the quality so whether it's primitive or ascendant but you can't have ascendant seeds or primitive so just keep that zero and then the next number is blueprint versus item you can't have a blueprint of a seed, so just keep that zero. If you want the blueprint though, if you're using another command for anything else, it would be one for the blueprint, but anyway, so defense plant, you can see to the left it says added one plant species X seed to my inventory. Now, a lot of you guys are watching this and you're gonna say, oh, you don't have to put cheat. I do not understand, like, you could not comprehend how many people comment on my videos saying oh FYI you don't have to put cheat or oh uh, just to let you know you don't have to put cheat or oh Stonely you're an idiot you don't have to put cheat look dudes you have to put cheat 
if you are not the host of your own single player world. If you're an admin in any other server, you have to put cheat. If you are the admin of your own Nitrato server, you have to put cheat. Alright, so just to clear that up, I'm going to spawn it again. It says one plant species X seed added. And uh, I already had some in my inventory, so it kind of stacked on top of my other ones, wherever they are, right here. So, uh, and I'm not going to show you guys how to grow a crop. You guys will have to learn that yourself. Um, I guess I could show you, actually, the cheat for the crop plot. Now, defense plants, like plant X, plant Z, and plant Y, only grow in large crop plots. So, it's going to be cheat space GFI space crop plot underscore large space one space zero space zero one large crop plot added so you're gonna put that down and then uh, like I said I'm not gonna show you how to farm but uh, the plant X seed goes in that and then uh, it'll eventually grow into the turret but if you don't want to mess with farming and stuff like that which is fun and all don't get me wrong uh, there is a special way to spawn in the plant X turret itself without any of that so I'm going to show you guys that command real quick. It's going to be cheat space GFI space turret, whoops, two R's, one E, turret plant space one space zero space zero. And you can see to the left it says added plant species X to my inventory. Now these do not stack. So uh, let's see, let's put that in our inventory. It looks like an auto turret. But, whenever you pull it out, you can see that it's a plant X, and you can place it wherever you want. You don't have to have a crop plot. And you're not going to have to keep up with fertilizing this thing, so if you're an admin and you uh, are into decorating and stuff like that, this is definitely the way to go. I love the fact that I can just spawn it in without having to worry about it growing into the plant and irrigating the plot and stuff like that. And uh, so basically it's counting it as... Uh, one of the plants that are grown in, you know, from the swamp or whatever, a wild plant X. But since you placed it, it's still yours and you can still rename it. You can change the targeting distance. You can change the targeting from survivors, tame creatures, wild creatures, whatever. So I'm going to set it to wild creatures on high. So it's already attacking that road stops over there. And uh, yeah, dudes, I mean, I think this is amazing. Like, we're gonna go back to my guarding. I, I don't know if they're still over there talking or if it picks up in game chat, but it's just kind of hard for me to hear myself when I hear them talking. So that's why I flew over there. So you can see that I've got some placed around like this on these uh, pillars around here. So, and then I've also got crops down here and you're, probably wondering where it's being irrigated from now I was able to do something really special here um, if you're building a house close to the water like this is let's see I was able to come right out here let's see if I can find it uh, somewhere I put the intake out here I'm not sure where I don't think it was that far out Anyway, I put, a, I put a metal intake. Oh, here it is. Here's my metal intake right here. So this is what sucks the water in. And you can see it goes that way under my wall. Now, if we go to the other side of the wall, we're already on land. And the special thing about that pipe is that it goes straight under the ground. So it stays underground. So you kind of have to guess where it's at when placing each pipe. But well, all you have to do is take a few steps, place, take a few steps, place. Now, the thing with pipes is that it'll hover. Let me see if I have any on me. I can show you guys. No, I don't have any on me. So the pipes will auto connect down there. They won't be showing above the ground if they're connected already. So if you don't see it above the ground, just place it. So what I did was take a bunch of intersections and uh, placed them under the ground all the way over here and then put a bunch of taps down. And luckily enough, I was able to irrigate all my crops with invisible pipes. Now, uh, if you guys don't think that's cool, I also did it with my toilets inside. So I guess I'll take you on a mini tour of my place. I've got uh, hidden grills, refrigerators over here, stuff like that. Uh, big table, stuff like that. Now, the restroom. So I want to show you guys the toilets here. 
So I was able, and this is another, this is a, connected to a whole other system that I ran to that side of the house. But you can see it has running water, so it works. Both toilets, perfectly running water. Fake sink, which is actually just a toilet turned around with a small storage box. So uh, the thing with that, it was kind of tricky to get those because I had to do a whole other system. So I ran it under the ground this way into the water over there. Now if I destroy, I think, this one, you can actually see the pipe. Yep, there it is. So I ran it until I could see it. It was actually sticking out a little bit, so I destroyed it here. And then ran it downwards, and then ran that pipe through the ground to over here. Now I think you can see the intake. Yep, you can see the intake right here in the water. So uh, luckily I was able to do hidden pipes all the way around, which really works for me because I'm kind of OCD when it comes to building uh, here on Ark. So I'm going to spawn in what it takes to fix this floor and railing real quick since I messed it up. Drop this jump. Alright. Now I guess since we're taking a tour of the desert villa I might as well show you guys the inside. What else I have up here. So you guys saw the bottom floor. Now uh, there's also an upstairs. Which I'm not gonna lie, I'm sort of proud of. We've got the bookshelf. This is kind of the living room area. I made a really big fireplace out of campfire surrounded with wall and catwalks up here for de uh, decoration. I made a couch out of gravestones and benches. And then we've got another really cool table over here. Paintings. Now these paintings here are actually a picture of the desert villa before I added the garden. So, if you guys are wondering how the heck did I paint pictures, which is something that I also just found out myself, I will be showing you guys that in another video soon. Um, it's really fun. You take a camera, take a picture, and then you can like paint it onto a canvas. So like here I took pictures of different plants and then painted it on here. So oh, anyway, this is my room. I've got all the artifacts spread across uh, the walls and stuff like that. And then here is where the love making is done, dudes. So I've got a couple of writing desks off to the side, some decoration up top with a little bit of small storage. Um, you can see back here that I've got a fire going. I've got a picture of my boy Mad Dog to wake up to every morning. And uh, I like the vines here. Now what really does it is these vines. I love having these vines in my bedroom. Now if you're wondering how I did this massive bed with the bedboard. Uh, so the bedboard is actually a bunch of trophy wall mounts. You can kind of tell it's trophy wall mounts and I just kind of placed them over top of each other until it made kind of a nice like bedboard. And then I put six beds down uh, with a bench at the bottom and then uh, colored it green. So I actually lay on here. Every time I log out, I'll lay on here and I'll put my PJs on. And I'll take my gloves and my boots off and oh and I'll throw my vulture over there and that way I'm laying in bed and then whenever I spawn back in or log back in or whatever I'm still laying in bed so then I just get up and start my day so I don't know I'm kind of about like the role play type aspect of arc so I like to get into it when I get into it now uh, I'm not going to touch too much on the rest of it. There's a lot of detail here, as you can see. Let me put my tech armor back on. So, anyway, dudes, if you guys want to join here on ARC, uh, play with me. I don't invite anybody to the tribe unless they donate $5 to the server. So, <coughs> I mean, you can ask, but I'll just tell you I don't do that unless someone donates. I've got a pullback here. I will alliance with you, I've got some people that build around me, and I'll let them use my villa and I'll let them use my dino pin in the bag, which is fine, but as far as joining my tribe, that's kind of a whole other story, but uh, yeah, we do have donation options that give different rewards and stuff like that, but uh, anyway dudes, I just want to show you guys this, so if you guys want to play, search for Age of Wyverns in the unofficial PC sessions list here on Xbox One. Soon I'm going to be making a video on the villa. I will be taking you guys on an in-depth tour 
of the place and how I built it. <coughs> I'm also going to be showing you guys how to spawn in and use the tech cloning chamber with GFI commands. I'm going to be showing you guys how to spawn and use the glow stick new to apparition, how to spawn plant Z and plant Y. So this right here is plant Z, it's from aberration and it gives light. And here's plant Y, which is just freaking beautiful. I'm going to be showing you guys how to spawn in the manticore skin, as well as the flamethrower and flamethrower ammo, megalodon tech saddle, and mosasaur tech saddle. So keep an eye out for that stuff this week. Until then, I will catch you guys on the flip flop. Hopefully you guys got something out of this video. And again, I will catch you on the flip flop. Do do wop wop do do wop do do wop wop